Vancomycin is a glycopeptide antibiotic primarily used to treat serious infections caused by gram-positive organisms, particularly those that are resistant to other antibiotics, like methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus or MRSA. It is bactericidal antibiotic and works by inhibiting bacterial cell wall synthesis. Vancomycin is poorly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract, which is why it is administered intravenously for systemic infections. In this video, we will discuss about some important clinical pharmacology pearls about vancomycin. So let's get started. Number 1. Nephrotoxicity Risk Vancomycin is associated with nephrotoxicity, particularly at high doses or in patients with pre-existing kidney disease. Therapeutic drug monitoring TDM, including measurement of trough levels, is essential to ensure adequate dosing and minimize toxicity. The target trough level is typically between 10 to 20 microgram per ml, depending on the infection site and severity. Number 2. Ototoxicity. Prolonged therapy or high doses of vancomycin may cause ototoxicity and hearing loss. Audiometric monitoring is recommended, especially in patients with concurrent use of other ototoxic agents, like aminoglycosides. Number 3. MRSA coverage. Vancomycin is a drug of choice for MRSA infections and for empiric use when MRSA is a concern, such as for nosocomial pneumonia. It is also useful in other gram-positive infections when the patient has a severe beta-lactam allergy. Number 4. Redman syndrome. Rapid intravenous infusion of vancomycin can cause Redman syndrome, which is a histamine-mediated reaction characterized by flushing, rash, and hypotension. This is usually prevented by slowing the infusion rate or administering antihistamines prior to dosing. And most important thing to note here is that do not infuse vancomycin faster than one gram per hour to avoid this reaction. Number five, renal function monitoring. Due to its potential for nephrotoxicity, vancomycin requires frequent monitoring of serum creatinine and renal function during therapy, especially in patients with pre-existing kidney disease or those receiving nephrotoxic drugs. Number six, oral versus intravenous use. Oral vancomycin is only effective for infections in the GI tract, such as C. difficile-associated diarrhea. It is not absorbed systemically and therefore should not be used for systemic infections. Intravenous vancomycin does not reach intracolonic concentrations high enough to kill C. difficile infection, so oral dosing is the only way to go. Number 7. Dose Adjustments It should be important to note here that vancomycin is always dose based on total body weight of patient and dose adjustment is needed in case of renal impairment. But always keep in mind in case of oral vancomycin, which is used for treatment of C. difficile infection, no renal dose adjustments required. In summary, vancomycin is a glycopeptide antibiotic with potent activity against gram-positive organisms, especially MRSA, and other resistant bacteria. It is commonly used for serious infections, like endocarditis, pneumonia, and sepsis. The drug has specific pharmacokinetic properties, such as poor oral absorption and renal excretion, which necessitate careful dosing and therapeutic drug monitoring, particularly to avoid nephrotoxicity and ototoxicity. Clinicians must be vigilant about drug interactions and adjust doses for renal impairment to ensure safe and effective use of vancomycin. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below which drug class you'd like to see clinical pearls on next. Keep learning, keep growing, and see you next time. Thank you.